How is wealth actually created? I'm Clay, let me explain. The focus here is wealth, right? That's what we want to create, or in other words, that's what we want to get to. So the question therefore becomes, well, how do we actually get to that point? How do you get to building wealth, creating wealth, becoming wealthy, you know, any of those variations? And really, there's essentially kind of three ways you go about it. And the first way, so this is, this is you over here. Like I said, we, we want to get over to have wealth, right? That's, that's the overall idea. How do we get over there? Well, the first way that you could create wealth is you would, identify a problem and then you provide the solution, right? You say, oh wow, there's a problem right there. I don't know, can I fix that problem? And you know what, if it's a big enough problem and if you can fix it in a very cost effective way, guess what? This right here, you just formed yourself a nice business and that business yeah, that, that, that's, gonna, that's gonna get you over here. You just created some big time wealth for yourself. You identified a problem and you fixed it. And not only did you fix it, you fixed it better than maybe competitors and you did it at a reasonable cost. I, let's just use a, you know, that, that, that thing you have in your pocket called, you know, a, a smartphone. That solves a lot of problems, doesn't it? And then of course, you, it just keeps upping and upping. And I mean, that is, you know, Steve Jobs. That's why he's considered really such a, a genius is, he identified a, a problem that some people didn't even realize existed and he solved it. And yeah, if you're not aware, Apple, Steve Jobs, you know, they got very, very wealthy. But then here's the other part where wealth can be created. And this is, this is why I love, I mean, I'm an American, but this is why I love the USA. And I'm not saying this isn't the case in other countries, but then there's other people out there. Or I think about for this one right here, uh, Jeff Bezos, the guy that started Amazon, he identified a problem and he provided a solution to it. And yeah, maybe you've heard of Amazon. But here's the, like I said, the other way. And you have people down here. And I would definitely consider that that's probably me, you. I mean, we're just, we're just the, the average normal folks. And yeah, we, you know, none of us have really identified a problem and then you know, put in some sort of solution to it. But we've recognized, you know what? I think that person over there has identified a problem and they're providing a great solution with it. So sure, it's not you that do it. It's not me that does it. But our, 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 our benefit is that we're actually recognizing and we're saying, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that, I think that's really good. So that is also a means to build wealth. How so? Well, this is where stuff such as, let's call it the stock market comes into play. Because the stock market is built up of a bunch of businesses. And if you believe one of those businesses is solving a problem and this problem is only gonna get bigger or they're only gonna get better at solving it, but for whatever reason, if you think this person is gonna be wealthy, then really you can ride their coattails and be like, hey, you're doing a great job. I want a piece of the action. Yeah, it's not my idea, but can I get a piece of that? And yeah, that's exactly what the stock market is. You get a piece of this business. You get a share. So if you ever heard of shares in the stock market, that's what's going on. This person is willing to share some of their business with you and give you some stock in their company. And over time, yeah, that is also gonna eventually lead you to being wealthy. Now, it, it doesn't happen overnight. I mean, it's a slow and steady process. That's what investing is all about. But that is really how wealth is created. Now there are other ways that you can get to wealth as far as you know over here. For example, if um, you know you recognize, well, I mean, really, I was I was was going to say real estate investing, but that's real estate investing is you're right here, right? You've identified a problem. So, for example, you found an ugly, ugly house in an, a pretty nice neighborhood. So that is a problem. Ugly house in a nice neighborhood. You're like, okay, what would the solution to that be? Well, if I can buy that ugly house, fix it up, make it pretty. Well, that would be a solution. And then people would buy it and I would actually turn up a profit. So, I mean, from that point of view, real, a real estate investor, you're over here and your investment is your business. Now, same thing though. Somebody over here could be like, wow, that person's doing really good stuff with real estate investing. I want a piece of the action. 
So while that's not the stock market, that's just a way of pretty much people riding the coattails of somebody else that's doing it. And I don't say that in a disrespectful way. I ride the coattails of all kinds of people. I ride the coattails of Apple, of Amazon. Uh, I have some Facebook, um, of Pepsi, of Coca-Cola, of Lowe's. I'm trying to think of the other stocks that I have in my retirement portfolio. I mean, I, I have a bunch of them. So yes, I am riding the coattails of, let's just say, Pepsi. Yeah, I mean, I it would have been great for me to have identified the problem that people are addicted to like sugar so I can do sugary drinks. Um, but I, I didn't do that. But I'm still going to get a piece of the action by investing in the stock of that business via the stock market. So these people are just figuring out a way to, you know, ride the coattails. But that's a skill too, right? Because if you choose the wrong business or the wrong person to ride the coattails of and that person crashes and burns or that business crashes and burns, well, you just lost money. So I mean, riding coattails is a skill in and of itself. You need to know what coattails to even try to ride. But at the core, that is how wealth is created. It's either you coming up with a business because you've gotten that problem, figured out the solution, or you're just good at recognizing other people that are doing a good job of this scenario right here, and then you ride those coattails and you benefit from it. So at the core, that is how wealth is created. It's either you are starting some sort of business or you, you are investing in somebody else or in somebody else's business that is, you know, identify those problems and are then providing solutions to them. So that's how it is. Wealth creation at the core, it's actually pretty basic. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.